Yeah, so TB Joshua is dead. TP Joshua, you are dead. After killing thousands of our people, after destroying the life of thousands of our youth who are sick, after killing them with what you call the so called healing water and oil you are selling to the sick people in our land. Why the people that brought the Christianity religion you claim to represent in Nigeria are busy building one of the best hospitals for their animal? Why the Pope of Italy that more than 500 million people is under him and his church have never for a day claimed to prophesy to anybody or to sell anything oil or water to any sick person? T.B. Joshua, wherever you are now, you are going to suffer. Because you have destroyed a lot of souls. I am a living witness. I know how many people from our land who are suffering from kidney failure, who are suffering from liver failure, who are suffering from cancer, whom came to your satanic church. You sold water to them. You sold oil to them. They lodged in your hotel, your business hotel. You built to be scamming our people. And you black people who don't want to wake up, Keep killing yourself, keep dying under Nigeria pastors and bishops who claim to cure sickness with the name of Jesus and prayer, which no country in the whole Western world has ever done that to their citizen. It's only in Nigeria where there is no electricity. People that are in a good position to fight for you so that your government will give you a standard quality hospital like the Europe that brought religion to you, they are busy selling olive oil that is being used to cook rice in overseas to you and you are drinking, dying. I have been crying aloud for over three years now that my eyes opened. Provide any crippled person in your community that T.B. Joshua, including your pastor and your reverend father and your bishop, have prayed for and the person started working again in your community that he knows their compound very well. Give me the evidence then I will give you one million naira with one plot of land. Provide any evidence of a blind person in your village, in the street where you are living, in the house where you are living, someone who is blind, and your pastor, your bishop, T.B. Joshua, prayed for that person. The person regained his or her sight again. These people I'm calling, these people are first-class citizens. The blind and the cripple are the first-class citizens in Europe and the United States of America. The disabled ones are first-class citizens. But Nigeria pastors and bishops are making monkey of them in Africa, in Nigeria. Displaying all this thing on television that a crippled person has started working again. A blind, have started, a blind has regained his or her sight again. And the black man I am trying to liberate from these occultic people. Let me just tell you the truth. Your brother that has a kidney failure, I hope you went there, you took him to TB Joshua. And you bought uh, olive oil and water and spent days in the hotel there. Didn't your brother die after you don't have money for the kidney transplant? Your mother, your father, your siblings, your son, your daughter that has cancer, kidney failure or liver failure, you took to D.B. Joshua. You bought the oil and water. Did the person not die? Let me just tell you this. If you have a kidney failure and you don't have money for kidney transplant, my brother, you are gone. Once you stop dialysis, you are a dead person. If you have cancer and the cancer has not become malignant, if you have a cancer that can be treated and you don't have up to 5 million naira to pursue the cancer, my brother, forget your life. You may waste like 1 million, 5, 2 million, you still die. Because once you stop chemotherapy, it will continue to, to spread. But once the cancer became malignant or cancer in the blood, it is untreatable. You are gone. These are things that are deceiving you with religion. That your neighbor in the village is killing you. Your papa in the village is killing you. And that is why religion has bring division in our land. Why the white people who brought the religion keep on moving with love. Because they know the truth. Now, mention one healing you have received from TB Joshua Church. Healing of cancer, healing of tumor, healing of kidney failure, 
Healing of fibroid, I pity you as a woman. You have fibroid. Your message is flowing anytime you want to see your period. It's flowing like a river. You don't want to go for surgery because they told you that Jesus removed it. Look, I see you see six feet. These pastors and bishops in Nigeria have killed thousands of our people. If you come to our office, we have thousands of their church members with a hole in the heart, with cancer sickness, with kidney failure, kidney disease, liver disease, tumor that need urgent medical assistance. That if they bring these people out before the congregation, so many people will donate money on these people's behalf and they will send them to hospital. Here in India, our big men are abusive, hiring your, your pastor's private jet, bringing their sons and daughters to the big hospital here in India. Why the people that contributed the money are dying because of malaria? People that contributed the money to buy those jets are dying because of malaria, typhoid, common sickness, because they don't have money to obtain card in the hospital. TB Joshua, wherever you are, your soul will continue to suffer because you killed a lot of people. Shame to you. Look at them. They are deceiving you everywhere. The same brother pastor, what is his name? I did I be the one that his son died. One of his members came to say that he uses uh, their church hanky to wake uh, his people, uh, a woman that gave birth to twins. The woman died and he placed the hanky on top of the woman. The woman came back from life. Now the pastor's son died. He didn't use the hanky to wake him up. Now the day they will bury TB Joshua, Oduheje will go the barrier. Oduheje will not go now to wake him up from death. No miracle. No pastors in Nigeria can do miracle now to wake TB Joshua. You will see them, they will be commenting here. Death is for everyone. That you know that death is for everyone, but you are shouting, the stopping people in the street of Nigeria. Every spirit of death, Holy Ghost fire, every spirit of death, die by fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moronic morons that don't want to reason that I'm saving every day. Look at how many oppressions we are doing upon on the life of our people in daily basis. Look at how many lives we are saving every day in our land, and it's not enough to teach you a lesson. That sickness without medication is zero. You will die and you will be forgotten. Say, so if Jesus cures sickness, do you think that the Europeans will build hospital for themselves? Why he came from Europe? From Israel. But Israel has one of the best hospitals on this planet Earth. Black men are dying because of religion. Shame to you, T.B. Joshua. Shame to you, all fake pastors in Nigeria. Go to hell, all of you. Look at this one that claimed to wake somebody from, 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 from death. Very soon he will as well join, kick the bucket. Now, all of them will be die one by one if they don't want to repent. Because they have destroyed the thinking faculty of a black man. Because blacks are waiting for a miracle. Without knowing that the reason why you are a human being is to create a miracle. At least if God asks you as a black man, what you have you done to improve this world? What will you answer? You will tell God that you are praying. The white man made this Facebook. You are watching me now. A white man made the phone you are using. A white man made the car you are driving that assists you to do things very quick. A white man made the aeroplane that flies you from Africa to Europe to America. What have you done to help humanity to improve this world? You are searching for devil. There is devil in your family. Uh, T.B. Joshua is seeing vision. Uh, there is a bed at your door. Uh, the bed is coming. And it's fl oh God, those things is fraud. 419. Once you are sick, you don't go to hospital to receive your medical attention. You will die. Once you are sick and the doctor told you that it is over, my dear, you are gone completely. In a good hospital or not all this work hospital, where one doctor will treat both eyes, nose and mouth everywhere. Understand? Now, TB just was sick. Just like a normal, he died like a normal human being. That is it. But he's telling you that you shall live long life and prosperity. God said, uh, God said, God, God is telling somebody something about you. Moronic morons. Shame to all of you criminal pastors. Killing our people in daily basis. I will keep on fighting until my people are being liberated. Show us a blind man in your community. That is what I ask you here by, before you comment rubbish. Bring one blind person in your village. One crippled person. Cancer sickness. Kidney failure. Liver failure. Tumor. That Jesus and Nigeria pastors cured in your village. Go and show me their compound. I will give you one million with one plot of land. Moronic moron.